Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and the last time posted was in 1988, BC. So yeah, be sure to hit that like button and notification bell to, kn to know when I'm not going to post my next YouTube video, probably in 2021. Oh no, if you're from 2021, leave a comment down below. So, anyways, you saw the title, today it's going to be about my favorite TV show. Um, yeah. I'm about to do this new thing where I'm pretty sure I'm going to get copyrighted. I think, I think not. It's, I, I don't know. It's on Netflix. It's where I watch TV shows commentate on it with the absolute worst quality I have. And yeah, let's get straight into my favorite TV show. The reason I want to talk about this is because I've been watching a lot of TV recently. That's why I haven't been putting a lot of YouTube videos other than my school projects. Yeah, I tried recording a video about my school project, but it ended up being a mess. And yeah, that's why I'm doing this now. So my favorite TV show is a tie. I'll explain later. But about this new thing I'm doing. So it's where I watch my favorite TV shows. Like I said, it's a tie. But I'm re-watching them because I'm not going to watch them. Like, just watch them and commentate on it for the first time. No, no, no. I'm going to have to re-watch it because, yeah. So I, I, I wanted to do this for a while, but I never got the chance. Also, don't make fun of me if I watch Supergirl because I've been watching a lot of that. And yeah, that's not my favorite TV show. My favorite TV show is actually The Flash. I am watching Supergirl, but it's, it's taking a long time because each video, because each episode is around 45 minutes and each and in each season, there's at least 20 episodes. If you do the math, that equates to around 24 hours, or am I still sticking to The Flash, which is 24 episodes in a season, and that takes 24 hours if you just binge watch the whole thing. And yeah, um, it's, it takes a long time to watch these shows. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna be commentating a lot, and yeah, ugh. So, yeah, um, be sure to check that out very soon. Also, when I'm, when I'm in school, people are complaining about me using the same gameplay. I'm going to change it up, okay? Leave a comment down below on what I should change it on. The first comment, I will, ch the first comment, I will use that gameplay. So, um, yeah. So, leave a comment down below. But I'm going to explain how I got into my favorite TV show. Okay, so technically I f watched Supergirl first. Let me explain. So, back when I was in third grade, I was in a hotel since we were waiting for our house to be built. And I was watching TV. I somehow stumbled across the CW, which is my favorite TV service thingamajig. So... I was watching, it's about this, I was watching an episode on Supergirl, it was uh, when um, the Martian Manhunter used his powers to face through a wall made by Maxwell Lord um, to find this um, copy of Supergirl that has black eyes, um, it's called Bizarro, duh. So, I watched that, I, I thought it was pretty dope, but I never knew what that show was called, and then a few weeks ago, I stumbled across that show, and yeah, that's how I got into the C, that's how I got into CW and superhero shows and all that, but I, but the real reason why I got into, like, I really got into it was because, um, I was at this, um, my dad's friend's house, and we got bored since the main thing already, um, already ended, and we're, and I was just waiting for to go home, and me and some person that was older than me, um, decided to go on Netflix and see what was cool and dope, and then he stumbled across The Flash. That was pretty dope. It's about this person named Barely Allen. And yeah, it's a, um he gets struck by lightning and now he's the fastest man alive. I mean, who would have known? 
Like, what what else would have happened? It's the CW's version. So, yeah, I watched that, like, a few years ago, and then my dad's friend had a Netflix account, and they gave us the username and passcode, which I'm not going to tell you. But um, my dad started wa- um, watching Netflix, and I decided to watch something on Netflix, so I was looking around, seeing what was dope. And then I stumbled across The Flash, and my Flash, and The Flash is my favorite superhero. I mean, he has super speed, I mean, technically super metabolism. Like, he he doesn't have super speed. His cells have super speed, which allow him to do crazy things. Like, he can... Like, he can phase through stuff because his cells vibrate at the natural frequency of air, which actually isn't a thing. Um, but yeah, he phases through walls and all that, and he's super fast, and he has more stamina than I'll ever dream to have. So yeah, that's how I got into The Flash, and that's how I got into DC's Legends of Tomorrow, my second favorite TV show. It's about these peoples that were chosen by this person named Rip Hunter. Um, so rest in peace, he actually did die, uh, why am I spoiling this? Um, but he died for no reason. So, they were chosen by Rip Hunter to go stop this person that wants to take over the world. And they hop into a time machine that he stole from the future. And they go have some crazy adventures. Season 4, we realize what unicorns eat. They eat people's hearts and nipples. Yeah, you'll see when I get there, which will be 2021. Like, comment down below if you're from 2021. 2021, anybody? So, yeah, um... Yeah, that's how I really got into the CW and all their shows. I don't like Arrow, even though it's their oldest show. Um, Flash is 2017. Arrow is like 2005. I don't know. I think that was that was when Naruto was born. Um, I think it was. It's really old. I think maybe 2015. I don't know. Arrow's the oldest, and then yeah, all that. Um. Supergirl is relatively new. Like I said, I got into it. I saw one of the episodes in third grade. So that was like 2016. So yeah. That's how I got into the CW. And I have this... I had this friend... I'll explain another episode that will never come. But he, but he told me all these spoilers. And if you don't know me... I don't care about spoilers. I I really don't. I spoiled Endgame for somebody accidentally. We were making up these fake um spoilers like, oh yeah, Ultra Instinct Shaggy, he came and kicked Thanos' butt. I never watched Endgame. I watched a ripoff version called Ender's Game. Not really. It's not really a ripoff, but it's not it's not even related to Endgame other than the um title being called Ender's Game. Anyways, Oh, oh, I never watched Endgame. My friend told me spoilers, which I didn't care because I know I was never going to sit in the movie theater for three hours straight eating popcorn. I'd probably finish in the first hour. And yeah, um, I accidentally told everyone, told that person who didn't watch Endgame yet. And he was going to watch it the fall after um, this thing that we were doing. I was in the swim meet. So yeah, I don't really care about spoilers. But now that they're making a season six of The Flash... I do not want any spoilers because I am really hype. I will be binge watching The Flash. I'm I'm really hype. I'm really hyped for the dope new season. So far, season one, masterpiece. Season two, less. Season three, we don't talk about that. Season four, brain of a rhyme. And season five was very predictable. And I do not know what season six is going to be, other than I think Oliver, I think Arrow is going to finally stop the Arrow show. It has like eight seasons. Yeah, it's been a while, so yeah. Um, that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know I have some time left, but see you guys next time.